What is up guys, no shame with another video. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about my Xbox 360 Slim. Um, I've been looking for this uh, console for a while. This is the limited edition Modern Warfare 3. I had the controller, I found it at a swap meet, so I've been looking for a console for a good price. I finally found one on offer up two days ago. He had it for sale for $70, I offered him $50. Um, obviously he didn't take that, that was too low, so I then offered him 55 he said no, 60 I'm like, well, what if I go pick it up? He's like, fine, 55 deal. So I asked him various times by message on OfferUp, hey, is there anything wrong with the console? He's like, no, it works great. And he even had it posted that it worked great. So I go pick it up, and before I buy it, I asked him, hey, is there anything I need to know? Does it read discs? Is, does it have the red ring of death? Anything? He's like, nope, it works fine. I was just playing it. So... I get home, I plug it in, and the damn thing has the red ring of death, right? It boots up and it shuts right back off. It only lasts about five seconds on, and then it will shut off. Unfortunately, I didn't record this. I didn't think about it to afterwards, but you guys will see some video clips where I opened it up. I actually um, heated up the CPU with a heating gun and, and with some aluminum foil around to make sure that the motherboard doesn't get damaged. You guys will see in the, in the video clip. So that took care of that problem. And, you know, I did kind of a half-ass uh, job. Instead of actually replacing the thermal paste, I put it back together. I'm like, it should still work. It was dry and it had a little bit of thermal paste left. Um, I went to go try it out. It booted up fine. But then it started having overheating problems. Um, it would be fine if the console were on and wouldn't be playing any discs after 15, 20 minutes. It would, the, you, the fan would kick in. It was really, really loud. Um, and then eventually it would shut off. But if you put a disc in, it would overheat immediately. And the boot up process of a game, I would say after about 30 seconds, it would just shut off. You guys can see that in uh, one of the clips that I'm going to post on there as well. But the video is more so to let you guys know, guys, don't waste your time. I tried everything. I spent about 30 minutes on YouTube trying things like removing the hard drive, the hard drive blowing, blowing air in the, um, in the hard drive uh, slot. It didn't work. I tried powering the console off five times, unplugging it, changing power bricks. Um, and honestly, guys, the only thing that works is the CPU. You guys will be able to see it in my video. So heat it up with the heating gun. Put some aluminum foil around the CPU so you don't damage the motherboard. Heat it up. And then while you're at it, buy yourself some thermal paste. Replace that. You guys will have a very good uh, Xbox um, running for a while. I can't say that for the original Xbox. But I know for the Xbox Slim, that'll take care of majority of the issues. I would say 85% of the issues that uh, people are having with this is because of that CPU, either because it doesn't have enough thermal paste or because you need to do that step that I told you guys of, of heating the CPU with aluminum foil. Uh, there will be some video clips like I told you guys, but save you guys some time, do the steps, and you guys will have a very good uh, running Xbox for a while. Not only that, but you guys will get to clean the Xbox too because, as you guys know, a lot of dust, um, a lot of dust gets inside these Xboxes. Regardless, you know, if you clean them all the time or whatever, it just does. So you guys will be doing your Xbox a huge favor by cleaning it anyway. So the fan will run a lot smoother. Um, it's not going to overheat, and it'll it'll just play really well, guys. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching. Check out the video clips and tell me what you guys think. So guys, I finally got this taken apart, um, and it's not that it's difficult, but more than anything, it's time consuming. So you guys literally have to pull the whole mother board apart, you have to completely take it out, and um, this here, this piece here is the piece that uh, holds, that uh, the fan goes on top of this piece here. So everything has to be removed. Now, I didn't really do like a how-to video on this because there's a lot of videos on YouTube. I just more so wanted to let you guys know if taking it completely apart and heating this part here up, if it works or not.
Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do this because I have a red ring of death. I bought it from somebody on OfferUp and it's not working. So, um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna heat this up right now. I have my heating gun. Um, apparently you're supposed to um, like put like some aluminum foil around it and heat it up for about a minute. So I'm going to attempt to do that right now, guys. All right, guys, so here we go. I have the heating gun on the lowest setting. There's the aluminum foil. So now we're going to go over it and see if it actually works. Um, we have to do this for about a minute, so... I don't want to get too close to it because I don't want to damage any of the uh, motherboard uh, components. So. We are at about 40 seconds now, so. That should do it, guys. All right, I'm going to stop it now. All right, guys, there you go. You guys can see that the Xbox is actually staying on now. Before, it used to power up and immediately go to the red ring of death. I'm talking seconds. Two, three seconds after it powered on. So, the console, it powers on, it stays on now. But here's the problem we're encountering now. It's um, overheating now. Your Xbox 360 is designed to automatically shut down to protect it from insufficient ventilation. Um, it's well ventilated. That's not the problem. Yesterday that I took it apart, I noticed that the CPU, the thermal, um, on the CPU, the uh, thermal paste was dried out. And I took a risk. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it and see if it works. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Hence the reason you see it's still not fully assembled. So, I'm going to show you guys and see if it actually does it to us. Let's see if it actually powers off. I have a Borderlands on there. It gets really noisy. The fan gets super noisy and then it just shuts off. Alright, here we go. This is actually the furthest I've actually gotten with it. And there it goes. The Xbox 360 is shutting down to protect the console from insufficient ventilation. So, it has to be the dried out uh, thermal paste. I'm going to reopen it back up. I bought some new paste from Best Buy. So, we'll see how that works out, guys. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, welcome back. So as you see, I have the uh, Xbox taken apart again. Literally, this time it was twice as fast as the last time. <clears throat> I pretty much uh, already memorized all the steps the first time I had to watch a how-to video. So, <clears throat> like I mentioned, guys, the reason why I'm not making a how-to video is because there's a ton out there. So watch one of those videos. But I actually already cleaned the thermal paste that was on here. Uh, it had a very, very little amount left, and it was very dry. Um, so I cleaned it off both the, off the CPU and off this part here. So this part here actually didn't really have any thermal paste. So I'm going to place them both in here and in here. So what I bought is I bought some thermal compound, thermal paste from Best Buy. Paid $7 and change for this. Uh, I've heard some mixed reviews about it. Some people say it's not the greatest. Some people say it's actually pretty good. But that was the closest thing that was available to me outside of ordering something online. I want it fixed pretty soon, so that's why I just bought it at a store. All right, with that said, let's get started, guys. So here's what it looks like. Going to take the little cover off here. 
and we're gonna place them on top here of the CPU here. Okay, now that that's in there, we're just gonna spread it out here with, with my finger, make sure that it's spread out evenly. actually pretty thick stuff. I've never used it before. I might be doing a sloppy job. I'll, I'll go back and clean clean up the, the board, make sure it looks good before I assemble everything back. But That looks pretty good to me. So now this piece here, we're gonna throw some on there as well. And there's not too much of this compound in this little tube here. It goes by pretty fast. So just spread it around. Like so, and I'm gonna assemble it back together, guys. But what do you guys think? Zoom in, baby. There you go. I have my lovely assistant, my daughter, helping me here. So I'll put it back together, guys. I'll let you guys know um, what happened, if it worked, if it didn't work, after everything's put back together. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, this is it. Moment of truth. Let's find out if this uh, Xbox is going to work or not. It's fully assembled now. As you guys can see, I put it back together. Sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. It's actually my washer. It's pretty loud. Um, but it's fully assembled. I have not yet tested it out. We're going to see if the thermal paste uh, did the job or not. So let's power it back on. All right, there it goes. It's booting back on. Now, what it would do the second um, the second issue it had, it would boot up just fine. Um, if you didn't insert a game 10, 15 minutes, it would it, you know would stay on just fine. The fan would kick in, and eventually it would uh, shut itself off. Now, if you inserted a game, it wouldn't even play the game. It would just get to the boot up screen, and it would power off. If you, as you guys can see in the video. It would be about 10 seconds into it, and then it would just overheat and shut off. No, we don't want to connect. We just, we're just we just testing it out. We have Borderlands, the same game in there. So let's select it. Come on, come on, come on. Work, work. All right, so Xbox is still on. There's a boot-up screen. And I want to say somewhere around here is where it shut off. So I think we should be in business, guys. It looks like it's going to work. Oh, yeah, most definitely. We did not get this far at all. Look at this. So there you guys have it. I'm just waiting for it to load and see if, yep. Guys, that's what the issue was. It was just, it wasn't sufficient thermal paste and it was dry. So definitely replacing that with some new stuff. It'll fix your problems, guys.